today we're going to talk about a brand new release, Iconic Scenes Volume 4. I received my master copy today, and we're going to take a quick look at it and see what we have in store for you for Volume 4. Are there any Abbott and Costello meets Frankenstein fans out there? Hmm? If there is, this one's for you. Iconic Scenes Volume 4, a scene from Abbott and Costello meets Frankenstein, featuring Lou Costello and the Wolfman. Are you ready to look at it? Well, let's go. First look at this beautiful piece. What you get is the base for it. Look at this beautiful piece. It's a pretty good sized base. Now keep in mind, this is a 1A scale kit. Sculpted by Jeff Yeager, who sculpts all the iconic scenes for me. So you get the uh, floor. It's got a lot of detail in it. So you can do some dry brushing, whatever you decide. You've got a door. Look at that. Look at that. Jeff's captured the door from the film. And you'll get that, which drops right in here. Boom. You get a little wall section with some great detail in it. Plug and play. Goes right here. You get the curtain. It overlooks the pole in front of the window at the hotel, which plugs and plays here. Let's get that in there. Thank you, Bradley Worley, who did the uh, casting for this. He added the rods in there for convenience for the modeler. Uh, the molds were done by the genius Mark Brokaw, so you know this just is going to be a beautiful piece. Side note, scratch that. Molds and casting were done by Bradley Worley of Worley Entertainment. Next up, we're going to go over here. You get the desk that Lou was sitting at. Now this scene was taken from this publicity still where Lou was looking at the camera. And the Wolfman was creeping up. So you get the desk. would go here. You get the top of the desk. You can see Jeff has the phone. Some books. A planner. A little lamp will go here. You can see lots of little detail in that. That snaps up here. You get the top of the phone. You got to have a phone to make a phone call. There's the... Hand receiver, which will snap on there. And I love what Bradley's done there. He's put like a little rod on the top of the lamp, which will plug in here. And there we are set at the scene. Now, remember you probably, many of you remember volume two, which had the chair. After that sculpt, Jeff no longer sculpted chairs. So for this one, I reached out to my good friend, Lace Lee. And he digitally sculpted one, which is much easier. So you get the top of the chair. You get the back of the chair. And then you get the two front legs. So much simpler. Less hassle for the modeler. You know, the chair will just pop in like so. Put the two front legs in. Problem solved. Now, are you ready to look at the figures? Let's go. I'm going to kind of slide this bad boy over here. You can see it's going to be a nice size kit. 1A scale, lots of detail. The Wolfman. What a job, Mr. Yeager. What a job, Mr. Bradley. Seamless, flawless, flawless kit. He also added the pin on here for you, too which will go in the hole here for him to stand, which then the chair, his other hand rests on the chair. You've got his head. Look at the detail in that. Beautiful, beautiful job, Jeff. Now, remember, we had uh, Mr. Moore doing the makeup on this one, and Mr. West, and Wolfman changed a little bit. So he'll go up on there. It's hard to do when the camera's on there, but look, snaps in there. You've got two arms for the wolfman. A lot of detail Jeff has in the fur. 
And again, just beautiful castings from Mr. Bradley Worley. On to Lou. Obviously, Lou will be sitting at the chair in his robe. If you remember in the film, he went into the room uh, to give uh, Mr. Talbot his bags. He wasn't there, but yet he was there. He had turned into the Wolfman. And Lou took an apple from there. And there's his body. You've got two arms for Lou. You've got the pencil in his hand that he's leaving Mr. Talbot a note. And then, of course, you've got Lou's head. Bravo, Mr. Jaeger. It's beautifully, beautifully done. So again, like I said, his head will sit on here. And remember, this is taken from the still, so he's looking at the camera when the camera's picture was taken. And uh, the Wolfman will be directly behind him. At the beginning of this video, I have the castings fully assembled. So you can look and see what the finished piece is going to look like. So a beautiful, beautiful 1A scale kit. 20 pieces in this bad boy. But luckily, a lot of the pieces are large, as you see. So not the many pieces of Volume 2 with the different vases and different uh, bottles and different things, plus the chair. That retired Mr. Yeager from that sculpting. But luckily, Lace Lee rescued the day and sculpted up a chair that's very similar to the chair from the film and uh, much easier to deal with. Now, again, uh, there has been no list for this yet. Uh, there will be information coming soon on the Shadow Creations page. Uh, it will be making its debut at Wonderfest in first, June 1st. So I'll have some there, and I'm sure they'll go quickly. So you'll want to get by our table. We will be at table 16. So you can look for us there, pop in, and there'll be another surprise there. Now, if you haven't subscribed to Shadow Creations, this is your chance. Hit that button, and you'll get peeks at things like this, uh, new releases, upcoming ideas, and uh, many more things that uh, we have in store for you in 2024. And if you hit subscribe, you'll be in the know on everything Shadow Creations. So that's the look at the first casting of Iconic Scenes Volume 4, coming very soon. Stay tuned to the Facebook page for updates, for pricing, for all that good information. And uh, we'll start a list on that. And hopefully we can get a few of these out before Wonderfest. My goal is to maybe 2025 before Wonderfest. And the balance will be at Wonderfest. And uh, we are going to do a limited run on this. I haven't decided yet. It's either going to be 75 or 100. This is a special edition in the Iconic Scenes series. Normally, we're doing the Universal Monsters. We're taking a break, and this is a special limited edition of Abbott Costello meets Frankenstein from a scene from the film. So if you want one of these, get them before they're gone. I'm sure they're going to fly out. And uh, when we get to Volume 5, it'll be something either from Universal maybe hammer something that capture an iconic scene we still have to do the creature we still there's many things that have to be done yet so stay tuned strap in and be ready uh most of you might be thinking oh well, do you have an idea on a price this is going to be a grand what is it no it's probably going to be in the 275 to 300 range uh, you get a lot of kit and as you can see it's a great size kit it's a 1a scale so it's still minimizing your shelf space and you're not getting the figure that would be up here. So, and if you've already got one, two, and three, you got to have four, right? So, there is a note at this time of filming. There is four uh, copies left of volume two from the second run of 50. Then that one is retired. One is retired. Three is retired. Two's on the edge of being the same thing. I'm planning on having uh, the last four at Wonderfest. So if you haven't got one, stop by the table. So that wraps up today's uh, look at Iconic Scenes Volume 4. And I hope that uh, everyone is having a great day. I look forward to meeting new people and friends that I've made in the hobby at Wonderfest. So we look forward to what's next from Shadow Creations. Have a great day. And as always, may the Lord bless your day.